Welcome to Arizona Living, your home, your inspiration. I'm your host, Jane Monzuris. Fall is sliding in and that means cooler temps and even cooler crafts. So today we're at Pinspiration to get some great ideas. But first, here's what's coming up on the show. Game of Thrones may be over for now, but you can get your Cersei on for Halloween. Wait till you see this craft room crash. And if you're in the market for a new home, how does a no-fee loan sound? We've got the details. And the perfect out-of-town trip to take this fall. We're checking out Meteor Crater. All that and more coming up on today's show. We are at Pinspiration at High Street in Phoenix, and it's like they took a trip inside my dreams to create this ultimate craft space. And I am with the owner, Brooke. Now, Brooke, this place is really amazing. Did the idea come because you wanted to bring Pinterest to life? It absolutely did. I was on the website way too much, and I decided why not take that data and make those projects I've been wanting to make easy. And so you create a space where everybody can come and the projects are here and all the tools are here. Exactly, we give you all the supplies, we give you a little iPad with a tutorial with step-by-step -step instructions, and then our staff walks around and assists you as you do your project. What inspires you on Pinterest? You know, I think um, what really got me excited about Pinterest was planning my kids' birthday parties. There's a lot of pressure on us as moms um, to plan this spectacular party, and now that Pinterest is there, there's a you know, wealth of information and ideas. If somebody is new to Pinterest, Yes. What should they be doing when they go to that website? Sure, so Pinterest is really a platform for discovery. So you can use it um, for searching and then you really can generate a wealth of ideas. And um, our hope is that you know in the store then we bridge that um, idea to action. So much fun. A little bit later on, Brooke is going to show us how to make a great craft for Thanksgiving. If you're about to buy a home or are thinking about it, the folks at AZ Home Loans can help you. They offer no fee loans and so much more. Uh, my name is Mike Wallace and I'm the uh, president of AZ Home Loans. AZ Home Loans is founded around the idea that we're, we're here to benefit and help our clients. For the last 17 years we've been in business, that's kind of what our entire principle has been based on is helping clients uh, get into homes, doing it in a way that's most affordable. So I'd say the biggest thing that sets us apart is we're, we're a no-fee lender. We don't charge any lender fees and that's important to us. We don't charge any of the junk fees that a lot of lenders charge. We don't charge processing and underwriting fees. We don't even charge credit reporting fees. We take on all those costs and, and we're able to do it because we don't have a, a lot of costs like a lot of the bigger lenders do. So we, rather than uh, building that into the loan, costs and, and raising the rates, we charge really low rates and we're still able to, to uh, offer those loans with zero cost on our end. We offer every type of financing out there essentially. We do conventional, jumbo, FHA, VA, USDA. If it's out there, we can, we can pretty much do it and uh, we try to find the best product for our client overall when we're looking at uh, everything that's available. We get paid directly by the lender and that's, that's the same across the board for pretty much any, any bank in the, that, that does mortgage loans. The difference is that our, our overhead is a lot less and our margins are a lot smaller. So we don't have to charge the you know, extraordinary rates that a lot, of, a lot of banks charge in order to kind of make up that difference. We, we pass the savings directly onto the client. I'm Jordan Davis, Vice President of AZ Home Loans. Pre-qualifying should be the number one thing that any home buyer should look at doing first. If you're going out to look at a home, you have to make sure you can afford it you know, before you start putting earnest money down, ordering inspections, ordering appraisal. You know, before you get fully invested and financially invested in a home and emotionally invested, you want to make sure you can afford the property and that you can have the ability to make a solid offer on it. And that's really what we specialize in doing is pre-underwriting files so that our clients can go through the process smoothly and worry-free and close on the, on the offers they put in. Here at AZ Home Loans, we believe in the three C's, cost, communication, and closing guarantee. With us, number one, cost. We have to make sure the client's taken care of. We want to make sure our clients get the best cost in the market, the lowest interest rate, the minimum cash to close on the loan side. The communication is so vital in a process. There's so many moving parts on a loan. You have title companies, you have insurance people, you have realtors on both sides. They have 
transaction coordinators, you have the clients themselves, and there's a lot of moving parts that need to be updated through the transaction. And one thing that's vital to our success and to closing loans efficiently is making sure everybody's updated and requesting the proper documentation at the right time. We're gonna guarantee, you know, we can close your home in 21 days or less from the time that we received all the qualifying paperwork, of course. We guarantee we'll close all those loans in that time period. All of our business at this point has been generated by past clients and referrals from other industry partners. Our biggest goal is to provide the lowest cost possible options for our clients and to help all of our clients achieve the dream of home ownership in the most easy and stress-free way possible. I love the way they store their supplies here at Pinspiration. What a great way to corral all of your kids' stuff, or yours. Here's what's next. School is in full swing, and that means your schedule is packed. Leave dinner to Papa Murphy's See how easy it is to get dinner done. And Halloween is a great time to showcase your creativity. You'll rule the neighborhood with this costume idea. Believe it or not, Halloween is the most popular night to order pizza, and the folks at Papa Murphy's make it easy to feed your little pumpkins anytime. Papa Murphy's is a take and bake pizza franchise. It started in 1980 out of Oregon, and what we essentially do is create your pizza in our stores and then send it home with you to bake in your own oven. And then it's up to you to just cook it in about 15 minutes, comes out of your oven hot and fresh and ready to eat. So we use only the freshest uh, ingredients on all of our pizza toppings. Our cheese is whole milk mozzarella. We also do a lot of topping cheese, which is a cheddar and provolone mixture, a smoked provolone. And then all of our vegetables come in whole, like you would buy them in a grocery store. We chop everything here in-house and slice it or dice it um, for your pizza toppings, including Roma tomatoes, zucchini, mushrooms, bell peppers, mixed onions, that sort of thing. We also offer premium vegetables like sun-dried tomatoes, um, artichokes, and fresh spinach. And then all of our meats are a butcher quality meat, so you're getting the best pepperoni, the best sausage. Um, we have premium toppings like Angus steak and fennel sausage, as well as your traditional Canadian bacon, salamis, um, you know, ground beef, that sort of thing. I think what makes Papa Murphy's most unique is that you as a consumer get to come into our stores, watch your pizza being made right in front of you um, with all of the best ingredients. And we, we are really pride ourselves on all of that high quality that you get as a, as a consumer on your toppings. Um, and I think that our dough is really unique. We make our dough in-house every day, so it's a very fresh pizza crust and we can offer that to you in um, a thin crust, a regular crust, a pan crust. And so you have your choice and you, you really get to, you know, make and create your own pizza that's unique to you and what your family wants to eat. So in Phoenix, we have 48 uh, Papa Murphy's locations around the valley. So you should be able to find one fairly close to you. Um, and you can stop in and uh, create your pizza and make it here. You can call it in. You can also go to online and order at papamurphys.com. Um, and then when you come in, it's already ready and you can just grab it and go. So I think what's great about Papa Murphy's is, you know, everybody's running around, everybody's busy. Um, you can grab the pizza, get home, put it in the fridge, and then when the whole family's finally there together after work and school and all the extracurricular activities that are happening, you can get that pizza in the oven and 15 minutes later you're sitting down with your whole family and you're having a meal together. And that's what's so great about Papa Murphy's because you don't have to wait for delivery. You don't have to, you know, have somebody eating a cold pizza. You're all there, you're ready, and it's like you made it at home yourself. Now that it's cooling off, it's time to tackle those outdoor chores. Or better yet, leave it for someone else. 
My Guy can help you take the weekend off. Here's Monica to explain. Today, we are here with local personality Lisa Hafner to ask her a few questions about a company she has put her name and reputation behind. Hi, Lisa. How are you doing? Hi, Monica. I'm doing well. Thank you. Okay. Tell us a little bit about My Guy. Well, you know, My Guy used to be to fix it. And did you know that I used to be a television show host before as oh, well? Oh, yeah. You know that? Would you mind if I asked you some of the questions? I'm so used to asking questions. Would that be okay? Okay. I guess. What do you want to know? <laughs> well, have you ever needed to find like a trusty electrician or maybe a roofer? Or, let's go with a lawyer have you ever needed oh. to find an, uh, an attorney not yet but I could see maybe in the future <laughs> <laughs> well that's good so if you did have to find an attorney where would you even begin to look I guess I would ask friends and family co-workers maybe if they knew of a lawyer until I found a good one but that could take a lot of time and what if they still didn't have anybody they could refer oh gosh then I'd have to look up lawyers online mm -hmm. that's what a lot of people do but then how would you know who to choose from that I would read their reviews Okay, but you know as well as I do that you don't know who's writing those reviews. They're total strangers, and the companies online are just paying to be there, right? Oh, right. Well, now what? Yeah, this exactly. It seems like uh, it's not, there's no good place to find a trusty referral then. Well, I used to feel the same exact way as you did until My Guy, My Guy Referrals. It's a free referral list. Okay, so what makes My Guy Referrals different from all the other lists out there, you know, searching the internet for a company? You're right, there are a lot, but My Guy doesn't let just anybody on their list. They are very picky. They have to pass a stringent eight step process to be part of My Guy Referrals. They must be licensed and bonded, have proof of insurance have an acceptable rating with the Better Business Bureau, be in good standing with the state of Arizona and the Register of Contractors, been in the business for more than five years, and my guy interviews the owner and key people in the company. They check that they have a good online reputation, and the most important step is that they are approved by their peers, members of my guy who only want to be associated with the best companies in order to uphold their reputation. If someone who is part of the my guy investigative board doesn't think another company is top notch, then they don't make our list. Wow, so what type of companies are part of my guy? We've got more than 150 companies from landscapers to painters, carpet installers, auto mechanics, financial advisors, realtors. We have a professional for almost anything that you can think of. So how can we get a hold of my guy? Hey, I'm supposed to be asking the questions, remember? <laughs> Just kidding. You know, my guy has a pretty memorable phone number. Do you remember? Jenny, don't change your number. Oh, I can't say. Yeah. 602. 8675309. Perfect. 8675. That's our number. It's so easy to remember. But you can also go to our website. Remember, it's a free referral service. And our website is myguy.com. Or you can call 602 Oh, yeah. Good. You got it. How My Guy forget? Easy to remember, easy song, and an easy website. Thanks, Lisa. Thank you, Monica. Studies show coloring is a great way to relieve stress, so why not buy an adult coloring book and some pencils and get started? Here's what's next. We've got the perfect craft to grace your home for Thanksgiving or any special event. And looking for a fun educational day trip for the family? We're headed to Meteor Crater. We are back at Pinspiration, my happy place, and we are going to make a very cute fall craft. I am with the owner, Brooke. Brooke, uh, I love crafting, so this is the place for me to be. What are we making today? So we are making a wood surface quote sign. So this is very popular now, right? So this is good for home decor? It is. You see quotes all over the place, and um, especially with Thanksgiving right around the corner, um, we have the Give Thanks sign. This is a stencil that we're going to be using. It is a stencil. How easy does it make this craft? It makes it very easy. And if you are, you know, a um, experienced crafter, there's a lot of ways that you can elevate it then and add some dimension or embellishments and really make it more advanced. So you pre-painted the wood block. If we came in, we would get just a straight wood block. Right. And we painted whatever color we want. Yep. So how do we 
do the stenciling. So with the stenciling, I think it's important to tape your stencil down so it's not moving quite a bit. Right. And then any um, parts of the stencil that protrude um, up at all, use your fingers as you go. The other tip I would say is these little dauber brushes. Yeah. I love these for stenciling. And what color should we, we use? I think, I think we do a mixture of colors. I'm loving the gold for yeah. fall, especially along the red background. Okay. So what's the trick here? We're just so gonna get a little bit on here? You want a little bit less is more, and less then I always more. scrape it on the side oh. so you don't have quite so okay. much. Uh -huh. And then it's up and down as opposed to side to side. You don't want that stencil to bleed. Um, right. And the paint to go and underneath. you just dab it up and down. Yes. So Lots this one is give thanks, right? It and is. you said you have how many stencils? We have about fifty different stencils that you can choose from. So that means that anybody can come in. You can you can use a different slogan. So you could use it for a wedding or maybe a birthday. Absolutely. Yeah. The possibilities are endless. Even housewarming. Yes. Wouldn't that be fun? Yeah. So when somebody comes in and they say, "I want a stencil," how do they find it? Right, so we have a little um, binder that they can flip through uh -huh. with all their choices and you know, we're available to help. A lot of times they have you know, something special in mind. They have um, a certain room where they want you know, the decor to match, mm -hmm. so we might be able to give them help with motif ideas. And you provide all the supplies. We do. And everyone just gets the creative. iPad, tutorial, yeah. everything Thank you. Need. Awesome. Absolutely. Well, we got to finish this up. You guys got to check out Finspiration. I'm loving this gold color. I do. Nearly everyone I know is obsessed with Game of Thrones, and I found a woman whose love for the show has inspired her crafting, and just in time for Halloween. This is Craft Room Crash, and I am in Mesa, Arizona, outside DIYer Melanie Bosley's house. Now, she says Halloween is her favorite time of year because it's the one time of year you can be someone or something else. So let's go crash her craft room and find out what Halloween costume Melanie is making today. Hi, Jane. Hey, Melanie. <laughs> All right. So this is your craft room. Well, this is my craft room. Corner. This is where you're creating all of those Halloween costumes. Yes. So tell me about that. Why do you love Halloween so much? I love supernatural things, you know, like vampires and werewolves. So it's fun just to be that for a day. It's an opportunity to be unique and uh, just to make something that's just you. Everyone has their own personalities and their own tastes. I've got to put the Jedi cloak on. I like to see the individual in everybody. You're almost like a monk. <laughs> but I come here, I come home, I see everything right there. And to kind of calm me down for the day, I want to create something. Inspired by the Game of Thrones. The Game of Thrones. Yes. And we're going to make a crown? Yes, for Cersei. We're going to be inspired by her, but we're going to change it a little bit so that it is us. Oh. Now you'll notice we've added a flair of boho, since boho is very popular style right now. So we want to cut this to a little more than half of your head. 11 inches okay. right there. So we're going to cut one for each there. Now to measure out how much hot glue we need, we just use this. Precise measurements yeah. are so That's no last fun. year. Like, why would we? We don't need exactly that. measure. Just let's just, just eyeball. So now we're just going to take one and we're going to start manipulating it into kind of a shape that we want. And we're just going to glue the ends together to start with. Then we're just going to go wherever they connect. I love this material. It is fun. I mean, it looks like metal. We just need a circle. Then we're just going to cut it out. Is this where I could put some of the like these yeah. types of embellishments if I wanted you to? You can put them around there can instead of this. Hands? So now we have these two separate pieces. Yeah. And we're just gonna glue them together. Okay. So that's our center piece, part of it. So we're going to use this right in the center right here. Yeah. So we've gotta put a little bit on each. Right. Yeah. Wow, that's so awesome. And now we're just going to glue them together. So that is our piece. That's it? That's it, we're done. How does it look? Pretty good. Melanie, thank you so much for showing us how to make these amazing crowns. Thank you for joining me in my craft room. I'll come to your craft room anytime. Thanks so much to Melanie. Now we all know how to make a crown fit for the costume queen in your life. So that's what Melanie is doing in her craft room. What are you doing in your craft room? I'll see you next time. <laughs> Here's a fun tidbit for you. Last year's most popular Halloween costume for pets was a pumpkin. Here's what's coming up. You could bring your pooch to Meteor Crater for a fun day trip. Coming up, see what else this stunning landmark has to offer.
It is the site of the world's best preserved meteor impact site. Meteor Crater is roughly four hours away from Phoenix and well worth the drive. Hello, my name is Eduardo Rubio. I'm the tour guide director or head tour guide here at Meteor Crater. We are located in Northern Arizona. Some people come here for the history of the crater. Other people come out here for the geology of the crater, the science, and other people just come here because they want to see what something from outer space made here on the planet Earth. The crater itself is really due to a collision in the asteroid belt by two asteroids that collided. So from this collision, and this was millions of years ago, let this little fragment kind of float around in space for those mil for millions of years ago, 50,000 years ago, that little fragment made its way to what we now know as the planet Earth and all the way to northern Arizona. And that survived the Earth's atmosphere, and this is the result. Believe it or not, the meteorite was half the size of a football field or 150 feet in diameter. The meteorite hit with an explosive force greater than 20 megatons of TNT, a thousand times greater than the Hiroshima bomb. The crater is not famous for its size. It's famous because it's the best preserved and also because it was the first proven impact crater in the world. We have our biggest fragment of meteorite on display. The biggest piece weighs 1,406 pounds. The meteorite itself is 92% iron. It has 7% nickel and a lot of different trace minerals. They have asked me before, don't you get bored talking about the same thing over and over again? Never, because every day is a different experience and learning process. One last note about Pinspiration, you can have your child's birthday party here. They have a cool room in the back for parties and it's also great for a date night. We want to thank Brooke and everyone at Pinspiration for letting us hang out here today. I'm Jane Monzuras. I'll see you next time on Arizona Living, your home, your inspiration, where we help you create an inspired life.